as a language, you gotta be able to read it. It's not just numbers, you gotta be able to see it. Math as a language, math as a language, you gotta be part of this fast. First, we must learn the vocabulary. Vocabulary is, if you see yellow, that means positive. If you see red, that means negative. For example, if I were to put three yellow and two yellow on the board here, together I will have a total of five yellow, which means my answer is positive five. Or if I have three reds and two reds, that will give me a total of five reds. What happens though, if I were to put a red and a yellow together. Red and yellow together, if I slide this red up, it becomes a zero pair. So instead of adding them, I'm going to subtract them because red and yellows together disappear. Here I have four yellow and five red. After putting the zero pairs together, I will have one red. Now for the operation vocabulary. When you see a plus sign in the place you will say and, when you see a minus sign in its place, you will say and the opposite of, meaning whatever is behind the minus sign, you're gonna do the opposite color that you see. Okay, so show me. What, what is this, what did we say we were gonna say with the minus sign? Opposite of. Opposite of which way? Show me. There it is. Let's take the abstract out of math by replacing these numbers and symbols with words. Let's start off with negative five plus negative six. Using our vocabulary key, this turns into five reds and six reds. Since I have a bunch of reds, I'm gonna just put them all together to get a total of 11 reds, making my answer negative 11. Next problem, four plus negative seven. This gives me seven red and four yellow. I switch the order because when the colors are different, I have to subtract. Once I pair those four yellow with four reds from the seven reds, I will be left with three reds, making my answer negative three. Next problem is four minus negative seven. Using the vocabulary key, that will give me four yellows and the opposite of seven reds, which is seven yellows. Now, since I have a bunch of yellows, I will just put my four yellows and seven yellows together to make 11 yellows. Making the answer to this problem, positive 11. Now, for my last problem, we will do four minus seven which will give me four yellows and the opposite of seven yellows, which is seven reds. Since my colors are different, I'm going to switch them so that I can take away from the color that has the most. Seven minus four is equal to three. And so since seven has more, the color is red. Making the answer to this problem, negative three. So in conclusion, if the colors are the same, you add. If the colors are different, you subtract. Also, the color with the most number is going to be the color of the answer. And lastly, when you see a minus sign, you will add the opposite color of the one behind it.